Hello and welcome to Loving Belize. My name is Rose Robin and I'm biking all the way around Belize, interviewing people from all walks of life. I want to find out what Belizeans think of contemporary Belize. I'm also going to be giving free art workshops in rural towns and teaching the children how to do stop animation so they can share their feelings too. I believe the international media has been putting down Belize for far too long and I want to give the world an opportunity to see, yes, the beautiful keys of Belize, yes, the amazing traditions and food and culture, but also just how beautiful and amazing the people of Belize are. We are a people who are generally peace-loving, we are people who are very warm and inviting, and we encourage people to come and experience that. Thank you very much. Excuse me, do you know if there's a bike store around here? A bike store where I can get my bike fixed. You want the bike fixed? Yeah, I've got, I've got a problem. I've got some... I've let's got go, let's go, let's go. Okay, you see where the market is? Let's go, I take you. Oh, is it, isn't it down there? Let's somebody go, told, I, somebody I told me it was right around the corner there. No, it's what? Like, back here you have a better guy that he fix you, give you a nice charge, and make you feel good on your bike. the guy he fix. It looks that for the girl, so the girl can feel good and travel more around. <laughs> You're alright mate. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you so much for showing me around. Yeah. yeah? With a bucket on my head. <laughs> yeah? With concrete. Concrete. In the bucket. In the bucket. Climbing steps. Yeah? Casing a house roof out of cement. Oh yeah? Out of concrete. Out of concrete. That is my job. Okay, what's, what's your name? Alturo. Alturo. Arturo. 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 <laughs> That's a disadvantage I have. <laughs> Go, Diana. Carmen. Carmen. Cuánto tiempo para que, que viene ah, suave? Media hora. A media hora. Cuando ya está hirviendo el cangrejo. Y luego la agua, el, el coco. Ah, en el mm. leche de coco. Leche de coco. Mm. Cuando ya está suave el, el cangrejo, se le pone la agua de coco. Y listo. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Mucho gusto. Igualmente. <risa> Mucho gusto. Pero, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo soy Dora Riverol Hernández. Soy Riverol de todos los Riveroles de Corozal. ¿Sí? Eh, eh, me, me eligieron para reina de veras del 1931. Ah. La primera reina de Corozal. Pues todos eh, los muchachos quieren bailar conmigo. Ah, sí, yo imagino. Eh, me, yo era pobre, ¿no? Pero sí. ellos me apreciaban a mí. Ah, sí. Y a otras y peleaban para bailar el wal. Viene y le dice, yo tienes que bailar el wal conmigo para que diga que yo soy su novia. Muchos novios. Muchos novios. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's your name? My name is Rocky Moran. 
And this is your... And this is my establishment, it's called Jamrak. We are in Korzal by the sea. Belize being a small country, politics plays the key role in the lives of everyone. I think Belize is one of the few countries that have a over 70% turnout of their, general, of their elections. Not many countries can boast of that. My sweet Belize, where is the love we used to share? Where is the love black people? So what, what's the name of this market? Whore. Whore. Whore's Whore. market. <laughs> what is it's it? spelled H-O-A-R-E. And where is the love? Black people used to share it Like the system wanted for disappear Where is the love Belize used to share As if they wanted for disappear Where is the love Black people used to share it Like the system wanted for disappear Hello, what's your, what's your name? Oh, my name is Connie Bailey Connie Bailey, how long have you lived here? I've uh, lived here full time since uh, January of 2006 So seven years We've lived here the first 15 months with no doors And so when you live in a place like that you want to give back you know how many places can you live with no doors no right. problem. <laughs> what kind of uh, work have you been doing with the community um with the library um i've been basically managing it with the idea of eventually it is actually a village owned library generous people so people have been um, donating donating laptops uh, books every book you see down there so, so it's a, um, like a community library with internet and... Right, right. UTL donates the, the internet. Well, do remember to love the life you love and love the life you live. San Luis alongside Jamalski. We bring peace, love, light and unity. We don't care, Jack. What, what would you like to be in the cartoon? Birds and a man sitting. And a man sitting. That's a very good idea. Well, maybe a house, tree. Because we have to leave space for the background. You can't just try everything in there, right? You're never going to win. You know why? Let me tell you why. It is a war between good and evil. Who not see how Jamal Rockin is the chosen rebel? That's sheep with it. And I keep it strong. See how get a you them suffer. And get a bomb they live in a the gutter. Black against white, it's a race for higher. Rich man get rich and the man goes fishing. The man goes fishing. Right. The one. This one. The one what? No. So what? So Louis, tell them. So, mummy comes out of the out of the house first. Okay. So, let's get a picture of the house. À force de trop vouloir, l'homme a tout perdu. De conquête en conquête, dans son esprit un mort à combler. Une larme dévasse et là, c'est que les vérités sont effacées. Actually, I was gonna name the island. When I got messed up. What, what was, what's the island called? Siminat Island. Siminat Island. Siminat. Siminat. Don't look at me. <laughs> no, maybe the ground. Diving, diving out of the reef with a companion and he's carrying fish I'm lobstering when I surface normally sometimes you're coming and you're looking upward right I felt something stroke my foot and it's not your gear you know it's feet to feet you can note it's part of you right away it looks the shark mouth is there but my partner was killing was carrying fish it was his blame right Oh, yeah. So, you see when a mad dog is trying to rush you and you have like an umbrella or a stick? I did several times. And he just, until I call my partner and we, we 
we went back to back and he's just spinning around and said, what are we going to do? Yeah. <laughs> said, well, all we can do, give him the rod, which means we'll spear him and he has to go. We'll lose the rod, but we'll get away from him. Yeah. Either the rod or the life. <laughs> In this town. Handyman. Handyman. All kind of things. Yeah. So, yeah. so do you work a lot for um, the the foreign residents that that live here? Yeah, most of them. Yeah. So at least they are helping us. They give us job. They um, they bring new things for us here. What, what's an average salary for a Belizean? One hundred and fifty. One hundred fifty. Uh, yeah. Two a day. Hundred. No, a week. A week. Uh, one hundred fifty. Belize dollars. Belize dollars a week. For a for a, a worker, a normal worker. We have a, we are made of made out of many races, the different different Mayans, like Maya Mopan, Maya Kechi, yeah, Maya <coughs> Maya Mestizo. It's one of the they are like races, Mayan races that, that are here in Belize. And do they still have their own language and? Yep, they, their own way of living. The yeah, they do their own farms. They don't keep kill people anymore. The Mayans don't do that anymore. <laughs> they don't. Uh, no. <laughs> they don't do so much more exciting they when they need to do that. <laughs> they, don't do, they don't do sacrifices. <laughs> so over over there we can see Mexico. That is Mexico. Yeah, Chermo, It's a big town. It's a nice town. Though. It's a clean one. Domitila Rivero. Domit Domitila Rivero. Rivero. Uh -huh. Mucho gusto. Gracias. And, ¿cómo, cómo te llama? ¿Cómo te llama? ¿Quién? Tú. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Yo? Sí. Leopoldo Rivero. ¿Y cuánto, cuántos años tienen? ¿Ah? ¿Cuántos años? ¿Tengo? Sí. 88. ¿Cuánto? 88. Ajá. Él no trabajaba, él era de milpa. En la milpa él siembra maíz, siembra frijol, siembra cebolla, siembra de todo lo que ponemos, tomate, chile, todo viene de la milpa del fam. Queremos carne, él va, va a tirar, agarra su carabina y se va al monte, tira carne y lo trae. <coughs> Criamos, hacemos bastantes cochinos, tenemos cochinos, gallinas. Tenemos con qué criarlo, ¿viste? Sí. Ajá. Sí. Lo que tenías que comprar solo tu ropa y tu zapato. <coughs> Cuando te enfermas necesitas doctor, pa, necesitas dinero para ir al doctor. Eso es todo. Eso es todo. Pero ahora no. Ahora todo es comprar. Hace tiempo comíamos cosas buenas, ¿no? Ahora, ahora. Es pura, es pura basura lo que estamos comiendo. Sí. Esa es la mira verdad. Porque uno vivía pobremente. Pero vives feliz y comes bien de todo tienes en tu milpa para comer. Tienes más. Oh, Wagner. Ray Wagner? Yeah. All right. So, um, is this your restaurant? Yep. It belongs to my wife and I. What's the name of your place? Smuggler's Den. Smuggler's Den. That's an interesting name. Yeah, it's kind of a historical name because uh, in the old days, uh, Conseil was well known for its smuggling. Really? Yeah, well, mostly, you know, mostly uh, rum and spirits and things like that. And I just want to thank uh, Melanie and Roy for taking such good care of me and whisking me off to Consejo, so I could see what, um, how, how the locals, the Belizeans and the um, expatriates from many different countries are all living together and and working hand in hand, um, helping each other. It's been a very interesting experience and uh, a fantastic first experience for Belize. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go to Santa Neja, which is a little fishing village, which is right across the bay. Shabby, shabby, shabby. Eh? Costa? Mm -hmm. No cobran. No cobran. It's gratis. Padre. Porque ahí en Santa no toda la gente son ricos. Ajá. Me imagino. Son muchos uh, pescadores. Uh -huh. 
¿Sí? Pero hay unos que no tienen licencia. Ajá. Pues no pesca, no los dejan entrar a pesca. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo te llamas? Bailén. Bailén. This reserve. This is um, Shipstone. Shipstone. Yeah, Shipstone Nature Reserve. <laughs> Nice country, um, a Belizean, and and uh, uh, to me it's 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 peaceful. Belizean have a way of, of appreciating people of 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 whatever race we we are not racist also. So I think um uh, whosoever or people out there that 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 were looking for some way quiet and peaceful Belize is a place for that. Nice. <laughs> I'm telling my dad that it's, it's I think it would be better on the seaside, you know why? Yeah, certainly I used to be named Sateneha. That's a Mayan name. Oh yeah. From before, which means water flowing to the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. But starting from here to there, that's that's Mayan well. All of this, this seaside, this used to be cemetery. Oh wow. A cemetery. A Mayan cemetery. A Mayan cemetery. If you would dig, you might find still you still might find bones and things like that. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. If you would go to my uncle Fernando's the guest house there when they built the stairs they found things but we actually for a the belief that people have here you need to put it back again yeah where you found it so we just set it back again and cover it no we found it here yeah yeah haha haha team trouble swag man baby man, baby uh -huh. You know right now I'm on my going sexy shit. I know y'all ladies going on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, sometimes you just gotta do it to them right till they all start talking wrong. Speaking in tongues and shit. Yeah. I got her speaking in tongues, she bring that pussy back to me. I was telling her friends all the nasty shit she does. They are my ancestors were founders of this village. I see. And uh, this was founded in the year 1854 uh. by refugees of the civil war in Southeast Mexico called La Guerra de Casas. The 27th of September 1955, we suffered a devastating hurricane by the name of Janet. Workforce, the young men, turned from farming to fishing. And that gave rise to a different way of life that until today sustains the economy of the village by exporting lobsters and uh, cows and uh, fish fillet to the United States. What's your name? My name is Fidel Santoya, I'm a teacher here in Belize. I've been teaching for 13 years. Well, being a teacher in Belize is a uh, I think it's one of the most wonderful jobs. Um, it's challenging. Sometimes the economic situation of our country, we we meet with a lot of needs and challenges, but we find a way to to cater. If you take at a village level, it's one thing; at a country level, it's another thing. 
for example, people from Toledo, their mother language is Quechi. But the official language that you have to teach is English. So we end up teaching children who don't know anything about English. We end up teaching English to children who come from Spanish-speaking home, and we have and they are given their their test in English. Everything is given even in English, and their mother tongue is not English. Brian Cruz What's your name? Paul, Paul Walker. Well, Wildtrax is multifaceted. We have a number of different programs from protect area management to um, wildlife rehabilitation under the conservation program. Whenever a manatee is hit by a boat or orphaned by its mother being hit by a boat, then it's transferred here for raising treatment and eventual return to the wild. People are found to have pet monkeys. The forest department does confiscations or people will surrender them and they're brought in here for rehabilitation and released back into the forest. There is a great deal of wildlife left in Belize, but the human population is growing. Belize is following pretty much the same path as its neighbours, so now is the time to act to help preserve what there is and develop a more sustainable development pathway for the country. will actually be in the cage doing the grooming with a monkey another one will come and join in and you actually teach them how to groom each other so the, the basic social things that they just haven't learned because of him. he was kept on a piece of string about this long he didn't even have space to pace which is one of the normal neuroses that animals will have when they're incredibly frustrated he didn't have space to pace he'd actually just sit there and rock in this completely zombified manner very much likes women so she's going to climb up and sit on your shoulder just asking you if she can come and sit up there. There you go. And she'll just climb up there. You safe? You good? You comfy? Good. So what amazes me is that a monkey which has been like this through the rehabilitation process, as she's gained confidence in people, realise that actually women can be very non-threatening. Within six weeks of being released back into the forest, she will have no interest in people at all. It makes it much easier for them to find their way around. You know, they fruit falling off the trees so they can be have a very easy food source whilst they start learning developing a territory finding out the distribution of different trees which leaves they want to eat and so forth and it's it's a week by week struggle okay how are we going to do this and it's it's not desperate in as much as we know we'll get it from somewhere but um, long-term financial security is something that is a luxury that 
conservation NGOs in Tibet and Belize generally do not have. I work with the little baby monkeys here. We've got uh, seven howler monkeys and a spider monkey. Yeah. They need a little extra care, so we uh, work on cleaning and feeding them. And right now I'm taking Elliot here out for a little one-on-one -on -one playtime. A little extra stimulation for him. I feed Missy, the otter, uh, and I take care of the manatees. So I'm in the pool with Duke and I feed Twiggy, the pre-release manatee, every oh. morning. What's My your name? name is Ernesto. Where do you come from? Sardinia. Sardinia. How long have you worked at Waltrex? Nine to ten years. Plumbing, building, care, take care, general. What do you think of Waltrex? It's really nice, really cool, nice rehabilitation center. You like working general. with the animals? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> what do the people in town think of this place? Well, it's good, but some people are thinking that Waltrex is not a good place because people are not allowed to come on in. See the animals, but it's really easily a rehabilitation. Yeah. It's not a zoo or anything oh, it's like not that. A zoo. So they don't understand that. They don't understand what that means. Um, I work with the manatees and the monkeys. I work with the pre release howler monkeys, and I do a couple dupe shifts and then I feed Twiggy the other manatee at night. But How do you get into working with animals? Are, are you like a biologist of some sort? Or? Um, no, I just have a really big passion for animals. Somebody wanted to donate to this. Is this an association or organisation? It's um, a non-profit organisation. So um, registered police non-profit organisation. We have a website: um, www.wildtracksbelize all one word dot org. Wildtracksbelize dot org, and that has a donate button. We operate as a volunteer organisation, so we don't pay ourselves for the work. We support most of the work through our consulting work, and we're completely dependent on our volunteers, not just our own volunteer work, but those of the national and international volunteers coming in working with us. And that's the only way we can do it. A long time ago, in a mine temple far away, an elite group of soldiers, born, born of wood, fire, and mace, fought not just the government of Guatemala, but the government of all the governments in Central America, America, everywhere. They chased down monkeys, treat them and train them to love them, show them the right way, treat them how to hell properly. At the end of the day, they are the B team. We're in Hopkins. We're in Hopkins Village. This is a Garifuna village. And um, this village started off with a small family of Garinogu people and eventually it grows to what it is today. Everybody yeah. speaks Garifuna here, even the, from the smallest child. If you're a Garifuna, you're a mixture of um, the African um, slave and the Caribbeanians from St. Vincent. And how the Garifuna they came here, it was um, after they were they were forced out of their their village in St. Vincent because they the English wanted to enslave them there and they refused so they fought to the very end. But the English they were they outnumbered the the Garinogos and they eventually win and they the, the survivors refused to be slaves so they were they were forced off their island and they came to places like Belize, Guatemala. Um, Honduras and Guadem and um and Salvador. See me fall and die. Yeah. Them, they see I 
I'm a, one of Belize's uh, reggae dance artists. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a top artist here. The guys here in Party Belize, they're starting to work with Belizean entertainers that they're trying to push and market outside um, to the rest of the world. We have never had an opportunity when it comes to music on having a Belizean entertainer on an international level and international market. So it's a very exciting time for a lot of Belize artists. Yeah, but this is the time to, if you really want to, Get it out here to get with these guys. I represent the, the young people who, who who are growing up in in a ghetto environment, who are not being given morally the right um, what to say, the, given the the right influences, the, the right direction. I feel like what I know can help a very large population of young people to to think or open their minds uh, and feel about themselves the way I feel about myself. I can I lie this baby? Uh, uh, D West. Hello Belize, good morning. You already know it's driver. We're here at the uh, Renaissance Hotel um, having breakfast with the delegates, doing what we do, Belizean backyard to the world. We're taking it over. We have the mayor of Guatemala, she's here. The mayor of Belize also. And we're working hard for y'all, putting stuff together, getting the right stuff in the right places. Look forward for BCMG. It's a music group called Belize Conglomerate Music. Something that we're gonna put out, trying to help the Belizean artists. If you're out there, you sing, you rap, get with me, driver, don't stop at all. My number is 664-0130. Facebook me on Belizean Backyard. My website is managerus.com. You can go there, you can find the movie, download it, watch it. I don't care where you are, if you're in the US, you're in Italy, France, Germany. Hi Rose, I see you out there in France. I want to big you up for helping me and I want to thank you so much for the documentary that you came to Belize and that you work on it for me and you're helping me build in my career. One day I'm going to come over there and come see you. But we just came to the club to bash and watch pretty young girls. We can spend some cash on. Buy a couple drinks, tip my glass on.